everybody. I'm George Riles. I'm here at Last Chance Archery. It's time for another thing a week. I got a really good tip for you. Um, the full on mental game things that you need to do uh, when you're in a tournament or to get yourself ready to compete in a tournament is like several videos long, but I'm going to just show you a couple of really small rescue techniques and things to think to help you get through the next event. But before that, I want to remind you, you can go to improvemyarchery.com and get lessons from me. You can get them in person or you can get them online and uh, you can see my schedule, pick a time that makes sense and I'll be waiting for you when the time comes. You can also get me to come to your club. I'll go anywhere in the world, put on a whole weekend for you and 19 of your closest friends and everyone will get individual help. I'll go through archery all the way through tuning, form, the entire thing, mental game, the whole bit. And there's a lot of little tricks and things that you get that you never hear on YouTube unless you buy a lesson from me. So uh, send me an email, georgeriles at gmail.com. If you want to look into getting me out to your club to run a seminar, I'll give you all the details. So. Rescue techniques, you're in a tournament and you feel that, uh, let me put it to you this way. You've noticed when you're shooting a three spot target and you've got a good score going, or it's the first end for score for Vegas or something like that. And the first arrow is okay-ish, but the second arrow is a little bit tighter. And then the third arrow is really hard. You may have felt that energy build by the arrow. And there's a way to reset yourself for each arrow. Instead of allowing that energy to build and risk making a mistake and missing by allowing that to run unchecked, you can stop for a second. And here's a little thing that I teach all, my, all the hornets to do, everybody that gets a lesson, I teach everybody this, and it's super simple, that when you load your bow, and you snap an arrow on the string, that's your moment of attention. When you snap the arrow, that's when you go, pay attention and get ready, right? And you set your fingers and you set your grip. That's part one of the big four, right? And then you look, you're on the target and you're looking at the target that you want to shoot. Now here's the technique. Take a big full breath, with a little double at the end where you'll go like that and really fill up that last little bit. And then through your mouth, let it out slowly over a second or two. And as you let it out, let everything relax so you feel it relax. Now what that does is when you take that big double breath, it works your vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve sends out kind of a chill out hormone, right? And that'll give you about 20 seconds of stability, mental and physical stability, 20 seconds so that you can shoot an arrow. And just about anybody can go through their entire routine, no, how, no matter how complicated it is in 20 seconds to get a good shot. So if you take that, very intentionally take that breath and then shoot an arrow, and then load your bow, get set, take the breath, shoot an arrow, you'll have much better success and it will be easier for you to make it through your entire score without making any major mistakes because that nervousness or anxiety or buzziness hasn't allowed to grow without, <clears throat> without checking each time before you shoot an arrow. So each arrow is a little bit more like the other. And when you get down to that final end, it's really important. You know, you see those guys in the shoot down at Vegas and they have to shoot 10, 11, 12 arrows dead center in the X to make it through the finals and actually win. You're going to need something to make sure that you can ground yourself for just a few seconds so that you can get an arrow. And that way you can keep your mind about yourself because you have a solid procedure to ground yourself in while you're going through a tournament. So a little double breath 
and then let it out slow, feel the relaxation, and do a little bit of a reset so that every arrow is as good as the first one. So that's it for this thing a week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week for another thing a week.